Welcome to the next of our hangouts on Dungeon Alchemist. This is the third one I've done, and if you want to know the basic commands and basic what's about, you want to look at the previous one before this. Um, they're all going to be in the same playlist, so just check and you should be able to find them easily. On this one, we're going to be looking at actual functionality, so I don't forget at the end, as I did in the last video. If you like this video, please click like at the bottom, it helps people find it. If you want more content like this, click subscribe, click the little bell button, and you'll get notifications when I put out more content. Later in time, I intend to start possibly making maps on live streams and making maps for the people that are actually watching as they're talking, and then I'll put up the final content for people to download if they want it. But that's a little while off yet. I just want to get people so they understand the software and the functionality for now. So moving back to the little dungeon that I created in the last video, um, I'm going to add some cells down to the side. So as we saw in the last video, all I did was select Crypt, Dungeon, and draw a box the size you can see. And the software did the rest, placing the little objects inside. Now I'm going to go down this wall and just go Cell. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Control Z, Undo. Select Cell first. I'm going to make them three wide. And the drunk tank can be four wide. Now I don't like quite the way that layout has gone. You've got walls with gates, so I'm going to come down and select walls. Iron cell wall. And then I'm just going to come along here and replace all of my walls. Let's move it so we can see what I'm doing slightly better. With cell walls. Door. Door cells. Done that. I'm not actually quite a fan of the location of those doors, so I'm just going to drag them into the middle. I will then have to go back and just tweak those outer walls. So back in we go. Walls. Cells. Now remember, this software is still in beta. This is only beta 0.21. So the guys are still working on it very hard. And yeah, you know, I'm very impressed with what they've got and what they're doing quite so early. So we've got some cells. We've got a far more interesting dungeon now starting to appear. Back up. And You've got to have a way to get in and out of your dungeon. Click in that corner. Okay, case, actually, no, I'm not because I've just spotted spiral stairs. And sits in the little bit. Now, what else, as we go through the items, would be interesting? Pumpkins, because it's Halloween. Statues. Bag heads. Shields. Carpet. Paintings. And wall hanging. don't think any of that really fits our dungeon. Not 
that keen on feeding that wooden bowl and spoon might be a bit closer um, but not religious we're not arming them mirrors they can put out a toilet pot I think Dungeon. Beds, not so much, not even hammocks. Desks, variety of shelves and wall containers. Benches, they've got the floor, haven't they? Chairs and tables. Bars from the look of them, and counters. And more tables. lights but now yeah, they've got the lights going on the sides of the room so we've got right here wall mounted three standing candles oil lamps and braziers stones variety of plants Various chests and containers. Again, this is a dungeon, so not so much. And if we look through all the stairs, so we've got over there is our spiral staircase, baths, pages and dais. Table fences. Ooh, columns now. They might be interested to add a bit of life to our dungeon. Because it is a large empty space that's going to be underground. Very black, plain and rough. Bit on the small side, so that one won't let me scale. So delete that. Duplicate it. So you've got the little plus button or delete button you can use to control the items you place. Trapdoors, but we're already below those. Wells and grates. Elevator. Iron fences and iron gates. These will be freestanding so they can go into the room. And there is a masonry wall. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, so what I'm going to try doing is placing our masonry wall. Place wall objects and see if we can change the kind of wall it is. So at the moment we only have a bog standard masonry wall. We cannot alter that item. Turn that off so I can select the wall. Objects, we've done our masonry wall. Then you've got workshops and items, so you've got helmets and armour, swords and weapons, given a cannon, uh, workshop items. Now, this is more what I was looking for. But I am made it. Thank you. 
gallows or chains. Move inside. There's a cage in there already. Chain rack on the wall. Yeah, nice friendly place. Mounted against them. Box. St. Andrew's Cross in a couple. Nice and visible for all of the friendly people that will be staying in the cells. So, we're starting to get some life into our dungeon. But none of these out as I went past, but we got to. Up in the cemetery or a crypt, wagons and wheels, uh, troughs and churn barrel, animal cages, chinos, hourglasses and clocks, and a sundial, books, quills, maps, dice and games. Musical instruments, Alchemist Lab, very appropriate for a game called Dungeon Alchemist, food, storage and furnaces, jugs, bellows. So some of the ordering of some of this seems a bit strange. Why have we got a bellows where we've got furnaces? elsewhere but that will come with time lumen spinning wheel and the ark of covenant because why not right click made that go away so gone through those we've already placed some walls and floor tiles you can see all of the different options here as I just flick through them there we have more of our interior doors and archways exterior doors drawbridge gate portcullis and more of your prison type environment and then windows again so we've got stone windows and we've got wooden windows moving down on floor tiles we've got a variety of marble cobblestones so we could be putting various stones going around the outside so as we have a door here we could decide that actually we don't have any kind of room created there to lay the floor tiles in um, back up to room outdoor meadow nice and quick as i'm about to probably change it all floor tiles Flagstones are broken. A narrow room, and then again, we can come up, change the walls, make the screen walls. Oh, 
hardens a little bit. Excellent focus. Right click releases whatever you've got selected. Um, I only just noticed that. Now, environmental settings, moments daylight, sunset, nighttime is far more appropriate. We don't currently seem to have a purely internal setting. So you've got heavy shadowing provided by global lighting rather than it looking at roofs and walls and saying that inside you wouldn't have that because you've only got these small windows so none of the nighttime shadows would actually make it to shadow all of that um, but more lighting controls are coming so Hopefully that showed you a bit more about how you use and what functionality you have in Dungeon Alchemist. The next video will be very brief. It will be looking at Dungeon Alchemist and then it'll be switching to look at Foundry when we import the Dungeon Alchemist file into Foundry. Um, I'm assuming that it uses similar functionality with things like Vol20, I've not used them. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll join me for the next one. Have a good day.